Timori, pa Timori. E ata e kume kume nei. E pa ke a ke to ra te titro ina nei. E hoa me mohi o tata ki te mahi tahi. Engari ko ra te sake i tu a te party mo te iwi Maori. Te kato ko ri ri ke to ra te uera ina nei. Kore kore e take pera ai. Engari a ko pera ko ri ri te iwi. E hoa ke te mohi o tata. Kama ho e te faki mai. Puri te ato hoi ho. Kao. Ai. Kao. Ka faki a hai ki toku mama. Ah, kao. Ko koe toku tino ho. Kao korero. Ko mai te iro. Ko ko tifa. Pea. Poro fita e hoa. Hey, okay. All right, okay. His voice is summer, his story is epic, and his presence 24 karat gold. Please welcome our last guest of the season, Tiki Tani, everybody. Here he is. Kia ora. First question, what's it like to be an iconic musician in Aotearoa right now? <laughs> um, I guess, yeah, it's cool, man. I mean, at the end of the day, I've been doing this for a while, and um, I'm still around. So um, that's always a good sign. Mm. People still come to my gigs and buy my shit, so. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, I mean, so it's all right. You know. There's a comprehensive story to getting to be iconic and sitting here on this fantastic TV show. Of course. Yeah. What is your story? <laughs> you know, trapped in the chase. What's my story? Yeah, how did you go from a, a boy playing guitar somewhere uh, to I, uh, being on television and I being guess, iconic? I don't know. I guess um, right place at the right time. Yeah. Also, you know, I, I um, often tell kids when I go and speak at school and stuff that, you know, I mean, like, I might look like a, a bit of a scruff and a bit of a lazy, bloody hoary playing a bloody guitar, mm. but I actually get up really early every fucking day mm. and make shit happen, like, every day, every, every day, just get up and make stuff happen, constantly, constantly, constantly. So yeah. I know where I'm booked on, I'm starting to book gigs on April the 5th, 14th, 16th, wow. stuff like that, you know, so yeah. it's all about, I guess, just having that work ethic. Yeah. And the fact that this is all I'm good at, and um, you know how it is, brother. I mean, we just, we just do what we do. And, um, you know, we love and, it. and that's the main thing. At the end of the day, I left school at 14, started my heavy metal band. I was in a heavy metal band. And we were called Cultivation. And it's all about, all about, we're pro marijuana, growing marijuana, smoking <laughs> marijuana, <laughs> decriminalisation, all that all stuff, <laughs> later, right? And I was 14 years old, left school, started my band on stage at 15. And it's just progressed into where it is now, which is now yeah, business. Yeah. It's yeah. a business now. And achieving what you've done, yeah, uh, to get to this stage in your career, in your mind, have are you satisfied? Have you made it? What is making it? Um, I'm I'm um, it, I'm really happy and really blessed that I've managed to make a really good living out of it, mm. and I've managed to set myself up and, and my son and and my family, my Fano as well, you know. So. Yes, yeah, so I'm really blessed. I've still got lots to go, yeah. you know what I mean? I've just done this amazing project with an orchestra um, called With Strings Attached. Yeah. And that's been the most... You were there, thing. Yeah, I was. Yeah, yeah it, it was amazing, am by the way. Awesome. It did. It what do you reckon? Absolutely amazing. Just magical. I mean, the whole setting of old St Paul's Church with you guys on stage, the yeah. shapeshifter and the orchestra. Oh, was this the gig in Wellington? Oh, yeah. 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 It was a magical night. With Te Pau Among Atafiri, the Kapaka yeah. group, yeah. which has never been done before ever that in the history of the planet that I know mm. of as an orchestra and a Kapaka group Don't. inside a church in, like, Wellington. So... Yeah, just things like that, you know what I mean? Strings attached, I mean, yeah. that was very elaborate. I mean, must have, a lot of work has gone into yeah. that, right? The yeah, industry, I mean, the we were talking about in February, right? And um, I said no the first couple of times because I was, I was shit scared, man. I was yeah. like, you know, this brown tattooed dude who can't read or write music, and here I am jamming with the elite, yeah. you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I mean, these guys can read music off fly shit on the wall, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. You know, so yeah. I'm like, I'm, what? Yeah. So it was really, for me, the... For me, it was a really step outside of my comfort zone, mm. but I'm so glad I did it. And now we've got something really amazing, really special. We captured something which is going to be on TV. TV One. And then um, I'm going to release a DVD oh. and a live album and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, I mean, everything's going cool. Just when you think, just when you think you're kind of doing this, yep. it, things happen, you know, just all the time. Well, it was a very personal night for you though, because you yep. revealed a whole lot of stuff about your yeah. personal life. Yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah losing yeah. partner, uh, Nana. Yeah, and just being, you know, about the arrest and all that yeah. kind of stuff. So, I mean, that's what, you know, for me, music, when, when you play in front of people, you want to be able to um, give them, you know, break down that sort of barrier. And mm. the best way to do it is to actually just go, 
this is me, this is what I've done. <laughs> you know what yeah. I mean? And people go, oh, or they go, ooh, yeah. or they go, hey, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. And that really brings people in. Yeah. And then, so that's what it's about, you know, music and art and expression. Thank you so much. That's and uh, we're going to be back after this.